Hey guys, Daniel here with Live Tech Australia. Today I'm going to show you a pretty cool After Effects tutorial. I think it's pretty neat. Uh, what I've done is I've actually got my logo and on my website I've actually animated it. So just check it out right here. It animates in as the website loads. I think that's pretty cool. And that's just an animated GIF. But I'm going to show you how to do that in After Effects. So uh, again, you could do this with your logo. I've got mine here or you could do it with just text. So create a new composition in After Effects. Now again, like I said, it could be your logo or it could be text. That's completely up to you. So what I'm gonna do is select my logo layer or whatever the layer is that you wanna sort of animate in, the handwritten text. And we're just going to go to Effect and then Generate Stroke. Okay, cool. Now we've got that selected. Now we're going to get with our pen tool. And uh, while we're at it, we'll tick all masks. Okay, so we're going to zoom in. And you kind of have to think with this, because this is a script text. So how would you actually handwrite this? Because you want it to look like it's being handwritten. And it's just animating in as if it was being handwritten. So you want to think sequentially how it would be handwritten in, before you actually start with the pen tool. So I'm just going to start with the pen tool anyway and just do a rough, pretty rough outline of how you think this text would be handwritten. It doesn't have to be perfect. And now what you do is I'm going to just change the color of this stroke because I cannot see it against this white background. So something like yellow would be good because you can it sort of contrasts with the green. And I'm going to actually move the brush size up so it actually gets really fat. Uh, you want to basically cover the whole of your text or your logo so you can't see it anymore. So this is where you may need to make some adjustments with the pen tool on yours. You can see on mine, obviously, I have to because I kind of rushed it. Oops. Might just want to make it a bit bigger, maybe mm, that much. Okay. Almost done. Everything else seems covered. Okay. And now we just got this little tip here at the bottom. Okay, everything's pretty much covered by the yellow stroke. Okay, now it looks horrible, right? What we're gonna do is we're in this option here that says paint style, instead of an original image, or on original image, we're gonna go to reveal original image. And now you can see that it's gone, but the mask is, the, the actual um, pen tool is still there. So with the end tool here, you can actually see if we go back and move it all the way to zero, it animates in. Ah, that's the fun part. That's really cool, isn't it? Okay, it is. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to start from zero on your timeline. And we're going to go to the end option here. Move it all the way to zero and keyframe it. Okay. I'm going to open up the effects panel here. Go to stroke. Now you can see that's been keyframed. Now however, want, however long you want this to last, I want it to last for maybe about 2 seconds. So just put in 200 there, or scrub to 2 seconds. And then go back to your end tool here, move that all the way up to 100. Bang! And you've got that done. That's, that's actually pretty much it, to be honest with you. So if we just RAM preview that, there you go. Done. And I think that looks really cool. So now what you can do can actually make your composition much smaller. So there we go. I've just cut the, I've just chopped it down. So I think that looks really cool and it's a really nice effect. So now what you can do is you can actually uh, export this and take it into Photoshop, export it as an animated GIF, and you can then put it onto your website, just like I've done with the logo here. That's just an animated GIF of what I've just done in After Effects. Or an even cooler thing to show to your clients would be to put it as your email signature. You know, some people have an image as their email signature, an animated email signature. I think that would look pretty cool. 
So those are just some of the ways that you could use it and uh, have fun with it. It's re it's actually a pretty easy result to achieve with very minimal effort in um, After Effects. So I have been Daniel from Live Tech Australia. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Remember to give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe for more cool graphic design tutorials. And remember to share it because I'm sure there's a lot of other people who would like to see how you did this. Pretty sweet, eh? Until next time, I'll see you later, guys.